Roll call working Tuesday, September 11. The color for the day is green. As always, protect yourselves, watch each other's backs. We have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Prepared for everything. Not this. Not for some of this size. There's no plan. Okay, listen up. We gotta evacuate the tower. Who's coming? Step forward. I got it, Sarge. I'll go. Sarge. All right. Follow me. Stay together. Still see the light. Yeah. For me watching this film, it kind of took it from the aerial shots that I watched on the news that day to the street level and the personal level. What attracted you to telling this story and the way you told that's, it? That's the same reason you're interested, because I would never thought of it that way. Mm. It was a script I read, it was sent to me by producers and a young writer named Andrea Burloff and the, it was about these five people really the two families and, the, and a, an accountant a marine who rescues them right and it was just fascinating riveting because it was the details the things you don't think about you know that uh, and by digging into the microcosm at the bottom of the um, trade center there where they were buried and outside you come up with a bigger picture yeah you live it yeah there were only 20 survivors only 20 out of 3,000, so, you know, their testimony is, there is lucid and it's important testimony. Millions for their flight coverage. Here at the top of this tower, there's a huge gaping hole, flames still inside. Can you believe this? What schmuck could fly a plane into the trade center? Maybe they ran out of gas or something. All right, listen up. Let me have your attention here. They're telling us it's a commuter plane. Tower one's being evacuated as a precaution. They've asked us to send a team down to assist. Sergeant McLaughlin. Got a list of names here. Step out when you hear it. We're going downtown. Pull Nicky. Sarge. Call a veto. Sarge. Watch. I always tell people the Sarge. film is not about Sarge. John Will. Jimeno. Sarge. Hold we on. happen to be two people that were lucky Family. enough to survive. We lost so many good people. Rodriguez. It's about our team. It's about our wives who represent the wives of regular Americans. It's about our rescuers who put their lives on the line. This film does not focus like you see on the poster of those two individuals. It is bigger than that. You know, we are so insignificant next to those towers. We're here today because of the love and the support of so many people. We gotta evacuate the tower. Who's coming? If you have that, you can pretty much Step overcome forward. anything. I got it, Sarge. I'll go. I'm with you, Sarge. All right. All right, we got a team. We're headed into Building 5. The rest of you wait for Kazmatis. Follow me. Stay together. Our instinct as a human being is to run out of a burning building. How do you train and what propels you to run into a situation like that? I worked at the Trade Center for 12 years prior to being transferred to the bus terminal. I was with the emergency service unit, so, and during the time I was at the Trade Center, I was familiar with the building, I was familiar with the equipment, I was familiar with the procedures in there. Massey, hold on. 
Anything more here? Helmets, scar packs? No, Sarge. Try the E-room near the truck docks in the basement. Jimmy Lynch is dead. All those years we had trained for different types okay, of incidents occur down, within the trade the center. Docks. We'll drop down to concourse, go around one to two, and there's some stairs there. So you were well prepared. So when the day came that we needed to go in there, our training kicked in, and we just did what we felt needed to be done. Sorry, you won't believe this. Your suburban on church? Hard as it was to watch and in many ways relive, the, the story showed kind of the personal side of things. It really got down on the level both of your story at home and your story trapped there in the towers. I think many of us didn't realize the many good things that were happening exactly. along the way. Exactly, and that, that's what we wanted portrayed, to, to show the kindness of that day, the unity of that day, and, and um, basically I think that they accomplished that. Stay here, okay? What's wrong? Ted and Uncle Pat have a deal. If anything happens to one of them, they go and tell the other family. The, the family lives, uh, they had good values. The two men were married to, both had good marriages. Mm -hmm. One was an older one of 20-some years with four children. The other one was, uh, the, Pat, they were I expecting mean, their second child. Donna, he's not. We don't know. We don't know. They declared him as missing. That's all. He's just missing. We tried to move it beyond the cliches where it's just not... It's the little details, the little moments that you forget in a marriage that really matter, you know? Yeah. Visit Good News online. <laughs> this is not right. This is not right! He gave you everything, years of his life, and you can't even get this right! Where is he?